WTFB Radio. Machine alongside my right hand man, Cash. No motherfucking money. When I say he ain't got no money. That if I'm mean, broke, mind your business. <laughs> that don't mean he ain't got no money. That just means we ain't talking about no money when we talk about my man Cash. Man. I got it on the Celtics, baby. Yeah, I bet you do, nigga. All the way. Uh, we all choose what the future brings. Black culture through music, man. Always in Exposed Black, TV y'all. Studios. Speaking of Exposed TV Studios, man. Ooh. I need everybody in the room to give a round of applause for Kateria and oh, Matt yeah. for getting oh. married Ooh. recently, man. So congratulations yeah. to Kateria and Matt on tying the knot. Now, Matt, if you ask me, my nigga, I would have been like, yo, don't do it, my nigga. It's only signing over to the government. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a government signing, bro. Because you could be married without, you know, it's beautiful. I mean, shout out to Matt and Kateri. It's beautiful. Yes. Yes, it is beautiful. I'm talking shit. But yeah. I was going to get ready. That's you great. See, they got their baby boy Ocean, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Shout they out They building Ocean. an empire over here at Exposed TV, man. So shout out, you know, to, to Exposed TV, the network. That we're a part of here, man. So if you need a studio for video shoots. This is your studio. If you need a studio for photo shoots. This is your goddamn studio. You need a studio for B-rolls. I don't like repeating myself. You know where to go. So Exposed TV, man, we're the number one uh, studio in New England when it comes to visuals, man. Um, Also, shout out to Kateri and Matt for the Red X series. If you have a single that you want to take to the next level, Give it a different visual. Give it a different feel. Something real dope um, for you know for you and your fans, man. Um, get it. Get tapped in with the Red X, man. Um, that's, that's something really big that's happening right now, um, and I think everybody should tap in. With oh, for sure. TV, man. So nah, shout out to them. Where else? Um, also, shout out to Punch Pies. Pack with a punch. Yep. Pop, pop. Punch Pies. Uh, you niggas got sweet too. I know you motherfuckers be getting high, man. Like this nigga next to me right now. Right after you get high, you get uh-huh. the munchies. You want something to munch on? No ice spice. You get them punch pies, my nigga. There's all oh, types man. of flavors. There's blueberry, strawberry. There's cherry. There's that TK banana, Oreo. That banana shit. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that you know what I mean? Maker? Yeah, the haymaker, the, the banana joint, uh, banana pudding. There's all types of shit, man. So I mean, like, look. Shout out to the shout pie to dealer, the pie dealer, Chanel Shantae, man. She can't be here tonight. Whipping it up, whipping but it she's up. whipping it up, man. And um, yeah. We just had a really dope event over here at Exposed oh, TV yeah. Studios. Meet and greet, baby. Mm-hmm. Costume Halloween edition, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we did a Halloween edition. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, meet and greet. It was dope. We had a lot of people in the building, man. We had a lot of fun, a lot of vendors. Punch Pie is one of them as well. Um, shout out to all the vendors I was in the building today. I don't remember all of your names, man, but I got some soaps. Yeah, on dog. I got some I got, tea tree uh, oil for my beard. Yeah. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? I did all of that. We should have got her name. Shout out to her. I, right? I know her Probably. name. I just can't remember it. But yeah. I'll, I'll throw her IG up. Erica J. It's uh, um, what is always, it? always EJ. Always EJ Soaps. Yeah, always EJ, EJ soaps. soaps. There you go. There yeah, you go. scrub your yeah. stress away. Fucking right, man. Yeah, on that, dog. You Y'all motherfuckers don't be exfoliating. Yeah, 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 for real. Get behind your ears, you yep. nasty niggas. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lift your nutsack up. Wow. You understand? Wow. It pause. That's crazy. But niggas be forgetting. I'm sure of Yeah. It be slipping, mama. (laughs) (laughs) You got to relax, my nigga. But, yo, my boy, how you, man? Ah, come on, man. We here, man. Yeah, Yeah, we here. NBA started. It's the best gambling season in the world, baby. I know you wanted to talk about your Celtics. Yeah, man. man. Here we go. We're going going back. All right, so what's going on, We're going Because, look, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown at this point is the best duo in the NBA. You talking about the best one-two combination NBA is Jason Tatum and J- there's no better combination. Really? There's no better duo in the NBA right now. No best no one, two, duo. or just no best duo at all? No better duo right now. Even Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant really? not fucking with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And oh, that's because shit. I'm talking both sides of the ball. Because you got to understand, it's not just offense now. Light skin is blocking shit and he's screaming when he's blocking shit. <laughs> he's blocking dark niggas. Eyes, ah! Lights get screaming. So how many games are you basing this off? Of? It's just one game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it's just one game. That's it was, insane. It was, it was balled out. It was balled out. They had 35 each, but it's like, you know, niggas Who, was worried so about the So the Celtics coach. won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, South, uh, the niggas was worried about the coach. We beat Philly too. Okay. And Philly's uh, you know, that that's prime East. Okay. So you gotta understand, like, that was a that's 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 a good look at what it's gonna be like. Mm. You're gonna get a heavy dose of both of them niggas just balling. Okay. Balling. 
right. And your Lakers? Ooh, your fakers? <laughs> Damn, nigga. Them flakers? Them shit. Them niggas not looking good. LeBron is just what LeBron's waiting for is to stay in the league long enough for his so son, son to, to come in, in yep. and then it's gonna be the Ken Griffey and like because that's the only thing that ever happened. Like Griffey and his dad, yeah, they played and like that shit is like that's amazing. It's like amazing, bro. Like, right. can you imagine? Like, there's there's got, highlights of uh, like his son, like Griffey, like stealing an out, like an easy out from his dad. Like, it's his dad. Nigga, yeah. like that shit is crazy. You saw, so, the, like, you saw the uh, the beats. Commercial they got, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, oh, yeah, that was good. That shit is beautiful. Like, yeah, that shit. So I, I understand why he want to be in the league long enough to do it, mm -hmm. but he gonna lose on the way there. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. And he not coming out the West. Lakers not coming out the West. No. I no. mean, bro. Lakers, you, know, I know you don't watch enough basketball. To know. I, yeah, I was about to say the Lakers, Celtics, all of this shit. I know you think LeBron. I, 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 think, I, I ain't been watching this shit. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not the same. Yeah. So but I don't NBA know. back. I'm excited. Okay. What's new with you, though? What's new with me? Um, you know, you know, it's just another week, man. We here at Exposed TV Studios, man. Just want to get have fun, done. bro. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm, I'm I'm actually ready to talk to the guests, man. I want to talk about these red cups and ratings that we got. Oh, let's do the rating. Let's do the rating because I yeah. wanted to talk about. Uh, I want to talk about Kanye. Yeah, but I want to do it with the guests. Okay, I want to talk about that Drink Champs episode. Okay, because I know we we you know there's this you know there's a lot to say about that episode. I thought. There is. There is. There's nothing else going on in the world you want to talk about. Mm. You, is that like a trick question? I'm asking you, like, seriously. Like, I mean. Some black shit I'm missing? Nigga, whatever. The fuck? <laughs> All right, whatever. Black man. women beefing. Them bitches is beefing, Who's right? Who's beefing? Like, uh. Lala or, yeah, Nicki all them hip-hop bitches. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? You care about that? Kind of. How you feel about that? So I think Nikki says something like, "Why is Big Energy not considered a pop song versus her song? Like it was like they consider her song a pop song, yeah, and considering Lotto's song just a hip hop, right? I feel like pop is bigger than hip hop. It is, right? Yeah. So why is that a sly? Like why is that a sly? Like I don't know if was was it a sly? Like was yeah, it, like was, Nikki was Nikki was more like. Why isn't my shit hip hop as well? All right, well, this is what happens, right? So what Nikki needs to understand is that she's been in the game for like a while now, right? She was the only chick doing her thing at the time when she first popped, right? Let me like, ask you at her level. Just right? to piss them off. Yeah. There's no comparison between Cardi and Nikki. Dude. Like Nikki's I mean, bro. I, I look, this is what I'll say about Cardi and Nikki. They do two different things. You think I don't, so? I don't, yeah. Absolutely. motherfucking Lutely. Really? Ca Cardi, ca yo. Nikki really personifies pop star, bro. My nigga, she was making an English accent, my nigga, on her album. How many albums Nikki dropped? Like three, four? Yeah. How many albums Cardi dropped? Word. One. There's no so, comparison. So there's no comparison, but what I'll tell you is I know Nikki's mad that Cardi only dropped one and they always compare them. You know what I mean? And I also think that with Cardi and Nikki, like, it, it, it's this, it's it's just, Nikki's a hater, bro. That's what it comes down you to. You think so? Nikki's a you fucking You know what I was going to say? Hater, On think, Dead Dogs. Think, like, that's the only thing I can fucking conjure up, my nigga. She's a fucking hater. She's an old bitch that's mad at these young bitches getting money, my nigga. I don't get it, bro. Nah, I don't I think, understand it. I think they have to beef. Nah. Nah, nah they, they don't have to nah, beef. they have to beef. They don't beef. have to beef. Look. Look at what's happening with Lotto. Why are you even talking? Say congratulations and move on. Like Lotto is doing her thing. Cool. You trying to look? This is what I don't happens. Really like you, Lotto you, you, like all that. right. So this is what happens, right? So you got the you got the veterans, right? You got the people who been doing their thing. Yeah. You got the veterans who build people up, and they give them the alley oop, and they do records with them, and they talk well about them. And then you got the haters like Nicki Minaj who. Wow, that's so how she stays relevant by she, shitting on so the new hot that. shit. That's interesting, right? Because she did it with Cardi. But it didn't be, work. It didn't work. Cardi ended up going upside somebody's head. But she be linking with new shit though. Nikki be doing new. Uh, but either way, I get it. Look, I, I like what Nikki's doing with Bia. 
I love it because <laughs> yeah, it's Bia. Yeah, Bia. You know what I mean? Like, I love that she loves Bia. That's great. She that's like excellent. Megan Thee Stallion, right? That's what that's they do, right? I don't. I think they was beefing too recently on some weird shit. Like, See, it, they but, all. They so she just the old ass hater, hating ass bitch, bro. So I, I can't get behind that no more, bro. Like, I like Nicki shit. She I've liked got, a lot she of her still shit. Got heat. Like Nikki, what? Nicki still got heat. Like what? Oh, every time Nicki rap, it's, it's not a... You ain't gonna say it's a bad verse. That shit she did with Fabio was fire. Yeah. That shit she did with Lil Baby was... Yeah. It was all right. She don't be you know what I mean? I like that she's bringing up certain girls that she like. That joint that she did, the freaky... The, yeah, the super like, freaky yeah, shit. Yeah, I like that. And it had the Boston shit yeah, on it. I like for, that for, You know what I mean? Yeah, I like that That record. made me feel good just because it said Boston on it, bro. Oh, but but other than that, for the record? I could care less for Nicki, man. You know yeah, what I mean, I, I think I'm not surprised by them beefing. I think it has to has to exist in the rap, the female, the to. female rap world to. because it's so small. It doesn't have to. It's so small. It doesn't have to. So small. Only one. They can only be on one queen, bro. But it doesn't have to exist, my nigga. Mm-hmm. It, it's one thing if you now if Cardi and Nicki kept beefing, I'm okay with that. But now Nicki, there we pick, go. That's what I'm saying. But now Nicki beef like like picking on Lotto, like let Lotto live, my nigga. The bitch had to change her name and some more shit. Nigga. Niggas can't say mulatto and rap no more. And That's I, crazy. I see Cardi put Remy Ma as yo, Remy on Remy shoots people. Don't bring Remy into yeah. this. Mm-hmm. All right. She like Remy, mm-hmm. don't bring Remy into this. All right. She shoot bitches yeah. for less than that. All right. <laughs> so she, she shot somebody for a thousand dollars. One thousand yeah. dollars. So don't bring I Remy. I understand, don't. Nikki. <laughs> Cause Cause back I, then I couldn't you, risk a G. G this shit risky business. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's but, do these ratings. But man. nah, man. But you know, I hope they figure it out and make you stop hating my nigga. Cause that bitch is tat, and I love her. You know what I mean? But I hate the fact that she's just hating my niggas. But whatever. Furthermore, man, let's get into these red cups and ratings, man. Red cups and ratings every single week. We have two projects that we talk about that we want to big up and just basically recognize and. Just give a rating on what we thought about it, man. So the yeah. first one we're going to talk about is by my man Sha out of Brockton, man, with 1-800-GOD-TALK, man. This is an eight-track EP. It's about 21 minutes long. What you think? He want to make feel-good music. Okay. Like, that's just, I could see it in it. Like, I could hear it. That That's what he's aiming for. Like, that's what you hear? Feel good music? Yeah, I hear feel good. Okay. Yeah. And, um, proceed. I hear, I hear Wiz Khalifa too. Wiz Khalifa? Like, cause of the beat selection. Okay. Off the beat selection, he's trying to, he's like on a cloud. He's trying to ride that cloud wave. It's that's like, what you got for this? Yeah, I got like that. Uh, I got a lot of, uh, not, I got a lot of Cushion OJ beats, the the um, up beats okay. from Cushion OJ. Like, that's the okay. feel I got from those songs. So I smoked. Like, as soon as them beats came on, I started lighting my blunt. But then, like, you know. That's like, what you got from it. Yeah, but he wasn't but he wasn't really saying a lot. Saying a lot how? He wasn't saying a lot in regards to, like, the the beat was, was, the beat was just knocking him out. Mm. I felt like. I felt like the beats was just knocking him out. And like, you know, I couldn't hear him. Like I couldn't hear him on it. Like I don't really. Know. I, I and I was looking for other projects. Do you have other projects? I don't know, to be honest. I really but don't either know. way, but yeah, I have I have a favorite song on there though. Which one was that? Hold on, go ahead. Well, tell me what you thought. I'm gonna look them up. Um, what I thought about this man, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, I didn't think of, I, I didn't I didn't hear no Wiz Khalifa shit. No. I didn't hear no motherfucking whatever you was talking about. Um, <laughs> what I got from it was it, I got I got feel good, but like as far as you know, somebody who's been exposed to the hood that what? didn't want to like glorify the hood, right? Um, but you know, he's out of Brockton, my nigga. You know what I mean? He's K Verdi, my nigga. Nigga, what I did get, the cool kids. Oh, cool I got kids. That okay, I got that vibe. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, on on certain records, I like like Break Bread with Darius Haywood. That was probably my Damn. favorite record, man. Um, oh yeah, break, Darius yeah, Haywood, break bread. Man. Okay, so Break Bread was a different record than the rest of them. It was what? The it was a different record than the rest of those like beats that I'm talking about. Break Bread was a different type of beat. Like it was a knocker. Okay, like Break Bread was a knocker. The and rest also, of Jones was flow. He was like just float, floating away, nigga. And also, I like the We Don't Believe You 
the last oh, record. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's you know, our shit. That, <laughs> you know, that's the shit we... That's the shit we I heard those some rappers in here, yeah, man. We don't believe We you. don't believe Um, You know, I, I, I like his confidence. I like his voice. I like his vibrato. Um, I think he's I think he's working on his sound. I, You know what I mean? Yeah. Do I think he's like the best lyricist? Nah, nah but I think you know he's I mean? working on it. But yeah, he got some shit, bro. Um, and he's a good storyteller. Mm-hmm. I feel like if he gets into the, like the royal storytelling realm, he'll actually like really touch a lot of people. Um, and I love the title of the project, man. One eight hundred. One eight hundred. God talk, man. That's a fire ass name, man. Yeah, and it's Brent actually Brent. seven figures. <laughs> yeah, watch your mouth right. too is my shit. Yeah, I, I like I like the yeah. The, well, Marquis filthy. Marquis filthy. Yeah. 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 I didn't even know who that was, but I, I heard that and I was like, "Yeah." He was like saying some shit. Yeah. He was saying he was saying some shit, bro. I mean, honestly, man, land of the free and the Ku Klux Klan, nigga. We, That's we, real shit. But 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 this is what I mean, right? So you don't think this was a? Uh... Yeah, there was shit said on it. I don't know why I said that. It's not that he wasn't saying shit. I don't know. It was just a the combination of what was said with the beats. Like mm. it just didn't match. Like to me. Like, so you feel like he could have got busy on the beat yeah like, like yeah like the beats he could have did different on it like you know he could have choked you know but i, I think he's know. working on his working on the whole package but i liked it like it's not like we gave this shit a bad score but we give it like shit was good so shout out to my man shy out shy. of brockton man 1-800 god talk out of five red cups we gave my man shy a solid four red cups out of five cups, man. So, oh. Shout out to Shot. Keep grinding, man. Keep nigga. working. Right. It's an excellent score, my nigga. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, bro. And I, I, I think I might have met him at the testing lab, too. I can't recall, but shout out to the testing lab. Yeah, I don't know, uh, man. And only niggas in my DMs want me to be a cartoon, nigga. God. Oh, I keep getting DMs. <laughs> niggas want to turn me into a cartoon, nigga. Oh, like, God. yo, bro, leave me alone. <laughs> yo, I hate them niggas. Man. Yo, bro, them and the Forex niggas. Like, yo, bro. <laughs> nah, the Forex niggas calm down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If these I, new follower niggas. I like, got... Yeah, if you want, like, a million followers. Yeah, yeah those yeah, niggas. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I told one of them niggas to suck my dick today, bro. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, whatever, man. The next project we want to talk about <laughs> this week, man, is something that Voodoo baby. Yeah. I mean, this one right here, man. I mean, it, it's a showstopper. You know, this dude, like, you know, he's been on the, the platform twice since he's been here. We've built a real relationship with him. We know his story. We love his music. <laughs> and I'm talking about none other than my man, Hunter Round Cotto. Cotto. With Cotto. Never Lost a Gunfight. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, though. And it's hosted by yours truly. Yo, man. nigga, yo. I, you know, nigga. honestly, yeah, man. Yeah, yo, it's narrated man. by your boy. Like, you know, and I don't want to sound biased. You know what I'm saying? But Nah, you know. like, I took, I wasn't even biased when I heard you on it. I was like, you know what? That, it actually fits. Mm-hmm. It fits, like, you know, the whole storyline. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like a narration. Yeah. Coming from a different person. Because yeah. it's all alleged. It's alleged. It's all make-believe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fight. like. You know, you know, you can read what you want. You know what I mean? Right. But it ain't what it is. But this is a 14 track album. It's about 40 minutes long. Yeah. What you think? Bro? I love it. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I no mistakes. I mean, you know, Kato don't like a lot of features. Kept he don't. The fe- kept the features light. Yeah. You know, he likes doing a lot of the song. You know, and that nigga's like. I, I told him on the phone, this is his best body of work. Yeah. I told him, what I told Kato was, this is his reasonable doubt. I told him I erased every album that he ever called an album mm. prior to this. And not only that, man, I think, like, with what he's talking about, right? Like, the subject matter. If you know, you know. It's real, it's real street, right? But at the same time. Kato like gives you real balls. Like he gives you real, you know, uh wordplay. He gives you like just He gives you real shit you can Google. And not only <laughs> and not only that, <laughs> that's true. But uh track three, Dead Person with Ezzy Guapo, man. Come on. That was the joint that he was talking uh in Creole mm-hmm. and in English when the nigga said Wule Bule sell me some shit. And the nigga said when going there and went getting zombie, keep bunzy. 
New Game Boy Avocat. Mm-hmm. Nigga, that was my shit. <laughs> New Game Boy Avocat. <laughs> he sung with <laughs> Nigga, run me my money. <laughs> Nigga, run me my money. <laughs> Nous pas faire ça comme ça. Come on. Yeah. yeah. But, damn, son. I mean, from start to finish, man, I loved it. What was your favorite record? The last record. Really? Yeah. That was uh, a block, into, your a block into a memory. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do something on that, but it was such a hard record. I didn't even want to like talk on it, man. I you was couldn't. Like, you know what? Like there was nothing I could really say on that, man. Um, nah, bro. He oh, he makes you want to grab your gun, but tears coming down your face. Facts. Cause you about to go lay it. You know what I mean? Like you know, like you pouring tears, but you loading your gun. You're like, oh, I'm about to kill this. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, dogs. Like allegedly, nigga. That's killing a lot of shit. Yeah, man. I mean, hold you, this man. is one of the albums of the year. Man, yeah, I'm opinion. not gonna hold you. That's killing a lot of shit right in now. In my opinion, man. Um, and it's because it's coming from a from that place. It's coming from. You know what I mean? And I don't know if you got to meet. I don't know if you got to meet them. Yeah. You know what I mean? To really I think get the everybody full- who who who's listening to what we're saying right now, go back to the two episodes we got with Hunter Brown Cotto, man. Fact. Just watch this man and listen to what he's saying. When you listen to this, you're going to be like, okay, it all makes sense. He gave us a 10-minute wreck up to rap. We almost Ten. had to cut the that power. Was like 16 minutes long. We almost had to My cut the power. My man rapped on four different beats. Was like, Five different beats, was actually. Like, I'm going to put one out. Nigga. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um. Oh, I like Bring Your Scare with Dun Dilly as well. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And he I did like, have Dun Dilly on there. He had to do that, man, because Dunny always throw it up for, for Voodoo Baby. He really do. Um. And I love that relationship they got, man. I thought I would have seen more shooters on there, but he does got KM pop out on close the door. Um, but it was it was well done, man, from start to finish. This was a great album wholeheartedly. You know, production, engineering, you know. And you know he ain't cheap. Lyricism. No, nah. He's like, not cheap. Nah, nah. <laughs> Gotta go ham. And, and, and seeing what, what's happening with his career right now. Yeah. And seeing that he has something going, like coming out like real soon. Yeah. I'm excited to see what happens with Hunter Round Cotto, man. So, out of five red cups, you know what it is. We gave Hunter Round Cotto the Jason never lost Richardson and Duck Contest. A baby. gunfight, allegedly. Five red cups out of five red cups, man. Shout out my <laughs> man, Hunter Round Cotto. <laughs> Boom. We're going to talk to you soon, bro. You know that, my nigga. Talk, talk to this man almost every day, man. That's yeah. really one of my niggas, man. Nah, we chopped it up. He was like, yo, listen to this shit. Yo, yeah. we was on the phone. I was like, nigga, this is crazy. That's my nigga, man. Yeah, shout out to Kato. Shout out to Kato, man. But you ready to bring in our guests? Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. All know right. what we're here for. So, Education. This we week, go. we my- got one of the... Wising you, up right here, know, baby. Newcomers, but somebody who actually has a lot of lot a lot to say. He wrote I scriptures mean, in the walls of the pyramid. Go ahead, dog. He was there. <laughs> I mean, when you listen to his music, you hear the, the 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 force in his voice, man. You hear the conviction in his voice. You hear the, you know, the real trauma. You hear that everything's coming from a real place. And I love the fact that he's clicking up with a lot of real niggas throughout the scene right now, man. Sell so, a Bible to a prostitute. I need anybody and everybody. <laughs> put your hands together. Give your undivided attention. To my man, Funeral. Aunt Bell, what's yeah. good, baby? Yeah. Funeral. My nigga, what up, Chiz? What's dog? good, baby? Hey, shit, man. Happy to be here, dog. I'm glad you're here, for real, man. For real. Happy to be here, for sure. How you sure. feeling, man? Feeling good, man. Feeling great, dog. Just dropped the album last month. Yes. On the 16th. You know yes. what I'm saying? A lot of love in the room right now. Oh man. yeah! Oh, shout, out shout out to the room. Shout out to the room. A lot of, a lot of love in here. Man. Y'all can make noise and shit. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey! Yeah. Act like y'all, yeah, act like y'all yeah. enjoying it. Don't and listen to Chiz. Chiz told them to shut the fuck up, and ever since then, ain't nobody been saying shit. Nobody having fun no more. Chiz ruined the fun, man. Get the fuck out of here. Ruined the fun. Yo, but well, it, man. For Yo. anybody who don't know who you are, man, give us a quick rundown of who you are, what you do, what you represent. Uh, my artist name, Funeral Ann Bell, man. Um, born and raised in Boston. My earliest memories stem from the South End, for sure. A lot of my mm. closest friends to this day are from that neighborhood, but I've lived in Roxbury for a little while. Okay. I've lived in Dorchester. So I'm really a Boston kid, for sure. Like, yeah, all really around. Born and raised in the city. Um, but yeah, man, I just represent, you know what I mean, authenticity, sticking true to yourself. 
Not that word be steps. fucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> Not skipping steps on your journey and shit like that, man. And I just try to infuse all that into my music and how I live and shit. So yeah, just had to take this shit one step at a time, bro. Um, I like but, that. Yeah, dog. You know, I like that, man. You went um, to college and shit. You mm-hmm. got like yeah. You got, I'm you still got finishing degree? now. Yeah, I got a um, I got a bachelor's right I got, in marketing. Oh wow. Yeah. Where'd you go to school? Assumption. Oh, okay, okay. okay. This motherfucker's smart. Yeah, <laughs> I know this. I told you, nigga. He knows authenticity. Authentic. I, you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, you did you that know. on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm finishing my master's right now in mm. creative oh. writing and literature. Okay, what do you want to do with that? Obviously, enhance my music skills in terms of writing. Okay. Use it as a challenge, a way yeah. to challenge myself outside of you know, reading and shit. Like, shit I could do on my own, just having something structured that could challenge me. Right. Um, but I also want to like write books and shit too, bro. Like mm. script like scripts maybe. Who knows, man? The future I don't know I don't really know what it holds at this point, but that's the type of shit I'm falling in love with now. Like mm. just outside of writing music. It's like I'm writing like I got twenty pages for some shit I'm doing for a class right now. Really? Mm. Yeah, for like a book a book I did. And um just thinking about building on that kind of makes me think deeper than just music. Right. So right. I got till 2024 when I finish, so okay. I got big ideas when it comes to writing this shit, too. Well, well writing is writing, right? So, like, yeah. you know what I mean? If you can write a verse, I feel like you can kind of write almost anything. Sure. You know what I mean? Because if you're talking really? about... A, yeah. Because think about it, man. Like, if if you if you're a lyricist, right? Like Ann Bell is, right? Yeah. If you can make words mean something more than once right with just words yeah like, why can't you write a book because a book just means one thing right book books are very lateral right like it's like it's like it's, it's, it's kind of flatline right unless it's like you know creative writing you know what i mean fiction whatever mm-hmm. you know what i mean but if you write in like a story like like a story that actually happened a true story yeah it's on one accord, oh, okay, bro. You okay, okay. Yeah, I see that. I see that. You, you know what I mean? But not every nigga. Don't. Please, niggas. <laughs> Just, yo, please. Go to Home Depot. Go to work. <laughs> don't listen to chiz. <laughs> not every nigga's out here writing a book that can rap. Come on, man. Don't do that, man. Crazy, Come on, man. Yo, so Aunt, man. Mm-hmm. Funeral Aunt Bell. That's the first question I want to ask you. A Why word. funeral? Why, what's, yeah, what is it? So... It's an acronym for some smart shit. It is an acronym, yeah. Golly. Wow. That's a it's long mad. ass acronym, my man. <laughs> mad letters, man. So before it even came like my rap name, it was just my Twitter name at the time. Okay. And it came from Fab. He dropped the tape in I think 08 or 08 or 09. Okay. It was like eighth and ninth grade. And um there's no competition too. Mm. And throughout he was like playing on this name, Funeral Fab. Funeral, 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 funeral Fab. Funeral, yeah. Mm. I remember that. And that's when like Twitter was starting to get lit, like that time. And um and I'm well, yeah, to- was that? I think 0809. I'm just okay. entering high school. It, yeah. It was like a little before, like right, whoever right. caught on a little early, right, but that right. was like when it was at its peak. I, nah, I remember like, that time. Yeah, I remember yeah, that yeah, time yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. Twitter was fun. Yeah. Twitter was That's when show. Titty Tuesdays titty, was at yeah, a whole Titty time Tuesday. High. I mean, Titty That's Tuesdays. That's when I was I was outside was of a yeah. Tedeschi's with this nigga. <laughs> He's like, yo, look at this shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck? How you got them titties on your nigga, phone? It's titty Tuesday. Titty Tuesday. I'm like, what's that? Twitter. I signed up immediately. This nigga was in the car. He said, I got a Download the app. <laughs> I download that. Join Twitter on a Tuesday. <laughs> All because of Titty Tuesday. Yo, for real. Shout out to Twitter. Crazy. Shout out to titties. <laughs> but yeah, that was the name. At that time, he's funeral fat. So I just I just named my made my Twitter funeral and bow. And I didn't want to change that shit. Like okay. it just stoked with me at the time. And I played ball at the time. Mm. So in my head, I'm like, I'm thinking funeral, like mm. for when I'm on the court. Like okay getting buckets and shit like that. Right. Just a play on basketball at the time. Okay. Man, it just stuck with me, man. And I made it an acronym that stands for focus, understanding, neighborhood equality, respect, yeah. authenticity, and loyalty. Mm. And it's something I, I live by. God, you know, man. I'm not perfect, but it's something I apply to my day-to-day life and into the music and shit too, man. So that's what keeps me grounded and focused, nigga. That type of that name. Like I like that. You know what's crazy? I'm not gonna remember that. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna run this back when I'm, I'm editing, nigga, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put I it on missed, the screen. I something. missed a lot of it. Yeah. Authenticity <laughs> was one of them. Yeah, F- focus, understanding, focus, understanding, neighborhood equality, uh-huh. neighborhood and quality, neighborhood equality, equality, equality. Yeah. Yeah. respect, authenticity, and loyalty. Right. Respect. I like that, man. I like that's that. a lot of shit. I, I like got that shit trademark too. 
Yeah. I'm about to get my certificate for it. Oh, you know week, he nigga. do. That's that's amazing. Yeah, so. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know he do. Nigga, come so on, man. you you haven't been rapping for that long, like as far as like what I've known. What right? is it? Yeah. Um, I seen first three, first seen joint that you you done was 2020. That's right? the first time I put I put music out on my own. Mm. Okay, 2020. So what what was your career looking like before then, as far as music? I was really just I always loved writing, bro, and. Music's always something that I was real passionate about. Just listening. Like, I always had an ear for shit I liked, though. What I felt was good music. You know what right. I mean? So I was always influenced by that real shit. Okay. And I always found my... I always knew I wanted to do... Like, in high school, in my yearbook, nigga, I wrote, like, what you want to be? I said something famous. Mm. Whatever that comes with. Mm. But now, looking back, I want to have an impact instead. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think fame is something that comes with having a particular impact and shit like that. Mm. But past the point it's like yeah man it's just falling in love with the work dog really okay. yeah because i know you love the music i mm-hmm. know it but honestly it's just it's, it's a lot of motivational talk which i like there's the you i think you take enjoyment out of it but is it only for motivation like do you ever go in there like i'm about to make a bop like i'm about to you know make some shit or is it just like nah niggas is still <laughs> and, and, I, and i gotta apply pressure like what is it because like come on it's a, honestly at this point i'm i'm finding a balance bro i'm learning how to find that balance but in terms of i'm just a passionate nigga bro i mm. believe in what i believe in gotcha and, i mean i'm a if i if i feel like something is is what it is i'm gonna speak on it mm. i mean good or bad or ugly nothing theatrical and, yeah and before i even drop music bro i've had conversations with my mother and like in a circle oh. people about how you feel about x y and z if i was to say this or that and they're like nigga if that's, the, that's your truth you just gotta live it and speak that shit. Mm. so it's wow. like i checked in with who i needed to check in with in terms of how how personal kind of i content. get sometimes right. and shit like that damn so i don't give a fuck how people feel sometimes at the end of the day because it's about i just want to it's more about leaving it I want you to remember how I made you feel as opposed to what I said and shit like that. Right. Like, that's that's my thing. I think we need more of that. Niggas will give a fuck. So you you talk a lot about, um, like, I ain't never been a street nigga type shit, but I've been in the streets, not in those words, paraphrasing it. You ain't never sold not one bag? No, for real. Like, come on. Like, it, it, yo. You ain't yo, never aunt, sold nothing? Hey, yo, aunt, bring this over there. Like, you ain't and never you gonna s- come back. This shit gonna be good. It's like yo, don't come look on. in the bag. Take this yeah. over there, my nigga. Easily, easily. Come on. This, this, this no is way. it went long past anything that can incriminate. I mean, you could maybe like I was involved, I was around it and involved, like because you said, I, yeah, I like, it's it's hard, bro. Hard, come on. I tried you doing said, that shit. Put it like this. I tried doing it when I was at school, and I'm like, what am I doing? It just mm. didn't feel like you talked me. yourself out the bed. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> that's crazy. I found, you know, what I mean, there's other avenues, bro. But in terms of that shit, I tried it at school. I ain't gonna hold you, and that shit just wasn't me, bro. Yeah. Like, it I might have lasted. I couldn't sell weed, my I nigga. I wouldn't even say how long. He couldn't sell no drugs. Uh, nah, I could mm. sell other drugs. I couldn't sell weed, but I knew people. I don't shit, So it would have worked I out. Weed, but. I couldn't do. <laughs> okay, weed, I could <laughs> smoke it all. I couldn't do weed. Weed was it was a crutch. Yeah. It was like goddamn. Niggas ain't buying. I'm smoking. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I, I like the message though. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, not yeah. to get it fucked up. Like, I do like the message because, you know, you speak a, you speak a lot about like you know the the traumas of the hood. Like when niggas grow up and 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 there was a line you said on on the first record, uh, the angels in the outfield. I think that's what it was when you said something about like when a good cur- ki- a good kid turns into a shooter. What was the line? You you know, I get sick to my stomach. You get sick to your hey, stomach. Hey. And I felt that shit because I know a guy. I know some guys. I know, if, no, I know a few. Guys. I know mad guys. Yeah, hey. I know. That, I know every guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few good guys, niggas, bro. You know what I mean? And and was was it your upbringing that made you not want to do it? Because you, the way you speak about your brother, it it kind of seems like y'all was on opposite sides of the fence. Just in general, bro, like, I, I seen a lot going up, bro, and coming from where I come from, bro, it's like, like I said, my earliest memory stem from the South End, right? Right. And my family- Legendary I, part of the city. Yeah, yeah. The you know hustlers. There's a lot of hustlers from the South End. Yeah, but outside of where I'm from, I got family members that have I mean, been in and out of jail, mm. X, Y, Z, 
caught up in the streets, this and that. So I've heard and seen a lot of stories before I even knew what people were even talking about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I, shit wasn't all, my life wasn't the worst. Right. But I seen enough and I was around enough to know what's what. Learning like, for other niggas' mistakes. Yeah, I done lived in studio apartments with Mom Dukes. Mm. That's, I love my mother to death, nigga. Mm. You know what I mean? She held it down for me. Mm. It was, I mean, and at my grandfather's crib, mm -hmm. one bedroom, it's like five of us there. Right. You know what I mean? Shit like that. So I just seen a lot being outside and just being a kid. You just, yeah. you don't know what you really around but until you like get older and look back at that shit. But nigga, that shit respect. could make, I mean, it's easy to, to get trapped in that type of shit mm -hmm. or go left. And I was just determined not to do it. My mother was always strict with me for one. Always kept my head in the books and shit like that. Made a nigga like, School first. She didn't really care about sports or okay. creativity. She like, you gotta get that. Go to school, get, get the, the grades. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, do as I say, not as I do. She was right. that type of nigga. But she had an impact yeah. when she said things, and she still does to this day. So I always respected her. But I like that. Just seeing shit growing up. I mean, you just keep shit in your mind. And I was always a quiet kid until I really just found my voice, nigga. And shout out like to Mama I, Love. Nah, for sure. Knows. I think that's why I'm so passionate now because I held a lot of shit back and I held a lot of shit in growing up. Cause I'm an only child on my mom's side, but mm. I got siblings from my pop's side. Right. And I mean, it's just me in the crib at that a lot of the time, especially with me in the studio, right. studio apartment type shit. So like, I'm just writing as a kid. She used to make me write shit, what I, why I deserved X, Y, and Z. She like, write me something of what you did to deserve it. <laughs> that type of vibe. So That's L. Always a point pressure. Am. Always making me think creatively. Like, yeah. she, she, she sparked that in me. Like, okay, you, you, my brother made me do that one time. <laughs> so my brother's an educator, right? And you know, I was a little dickhead growing up. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't remember what I did or like who I disrespected, but everybody was going to the movies, you know, on my brother's dime. And he was like, nah, Chuck, you ain't going. And he's like, if you want to go, you got to write me an essay about why you deserve to go. Man, I wrote an essay. That shit was garbage. Yeah, yeah. He still let you. Nah, go. he ain't let me go. Nigga. Oh, he shout out to Reggie. <laughs> Stand on your ground, my nigga. Teach these kids a lesson, my nigga. Not everybody love you, my nigga. He was like, nigga, that shit Not was Not everybody whack. think you're cute. <laughs> He's like, nigga, that shit was garbage, Shout nigga. out to Reggie. He's like, that's nigga. some bullshit. Big you know you wrote vibes. some bullshit. Uh, but nah, nigga, I like that. I, I, I like I like your story, man. Um, because it's not what a lot of people do. Like, mm -hmm. especially not right now. Everybody want to slide on the ops. You know what I mean? Everybody got the stick. Everybody got the switch. Everybody is up. You know what I mean? On the ops. Everybody shit talking. like that. Mm -hmm. And that's not what you're talking about. So you're taking your stories from the hood and you're putting it into... Basically, a lesson, right? You know what I mean? Like, this is what niggas need to do, right? But I want to talk about Concrete Rose before we do anything, right? Concrete Rose was 2020, man. Um, yeah. Give me the inspiration behind that. So, this the idea for the project was, like, thought about before the pandemic even came about. Ooh. So, in 2020, this shit was coming out regardless. God, that was already the plan. And... Concrete Rose is pretty much like that's what I rep that's I feel like that's what I am. Like mm -hmm. a rose that grew from the concrete on some Tupac vibe type shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's rare that a rose grows out the concrete with right. particular with particular ideals or a mindset and shit like that. And I feel like that's me. I'm a concrete rose, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that was the idea behind the project. And I wanted it, I wanted it to have a sense of rawness to it. That's why it kind of sounds the way it does, particular right. records. Mm -hmm. Because, oh, that was done on purpose. Yeah, that's my first. I wanted my first entry to be on some real raw shit. Like you hear the talent and you hear the you can hear the potential in it, and it's something there. Like this yeah. shit, I still spin on that project to this day. But that sense of rawness was important for where shit's going. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. And um, and I mean some of those beats compared to where, what what um what type of time I'm on now in terms of the artistry and how shit gets created. These are like some of these beats was like beats I bought off YouTube and shit like right. that. Okay. Just hungry, just mm -hmm. hungry. I wanted niggas to hear my voice with this project. Like, right. I didn't really care what was going on. I'm just trying to drop some shit, let niggas know I'm here. Okay. And How was, do you feel like that was received? I thought it was received well, especially from people that are that are close to me. Right. Like, it was like, yo, keep going. There's something there. Like, some of the niggas that's in this room, the spot, like, keep pushing me and shit. Like, yo, that shit was it, bro. Keep. I mean, just keep going. Mm. Just keep going. Okay. At that point, it was like just keep going, and just staying hungry. Sounds about fade, my producer for sure, pushing me and shit like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> shout out to your producer because they know your sound. 
That's I'm a not, fact. I'm not yeah. gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. When we raided it, when we raided your, when we raided the album, mm-hmm. what's the name of the album we raided. It? There's glory in the fire, volume one. There's glory in the fire. Glory in the fire. Mm-hmm. That volume one. So there's there's more of them shits coming. There's gonna be more volumes. Oh, okay. For sure. Them shits is coming. Oh, I like I like I like the sound because you really in your pocket with it, and I and I I just I wanted to hear you on different sounds, and I and I get. I get the producers, you know, probably, you know, he's in the building too. He told me too when he see me, like, nigga, I'm the producer. <laughs> he didn't even tell me his name. He was like, yo, yeah, I'm the producer. I'm like, oh, shit. Here, here it come. But I'll yeah, dog, you know, it's like, because no, I'm a like fan. That. I'm not going to hold you. I'm a fan now of your shit because it's like you spitting shit I could really intake and like help me. You know what I mean? Because it's like you speaking words, nigga. Real words. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. So it's like, you know, I like the knockers. I like the beats. I think you could do that shit on mad different types of shit. And I want to see you just hear you on different pockets and really push your shit. Because I know you will. Because I heard that from 2020 to now, you can't tell me there's no di- there's a huge difference. I think there so. Is, there is. There like, is. Yeah, right, sure. like from that first album to what we talking about now, like, nigga, sh- Bro, so it's only gonna keep getting better. Now, oh, sure. how do you link up with Body Rock for that last joint that y'all did, man? Shout out to Body Rock, man. Shout oh, out Body shit. Rock. Body Rock. <laughs> Body Rock. Huh? Just all. It was really at first. It was just off social media, really. Okay. Just like fucking with what he got going on. Yeah. And, right. You know I mean, eventually, you not know I me mean? doing what I was. I mean, just putting putting in the time and the work. He ended up coming across my shit, and you know I mean, we just followed each other. You know what I mean? And, Ended up seeing each other out at a couple events and shit like that. Chopped it up. Okay. And yeah, he pretty much just hit me. Pull up to the session for the joint we got on his album. TT. Yeah. That was T-T. on. Uh, what was the name of that album? That was uh, Who Gospel. Gospel. Yeah. Yeah. That was perfect. Yeah. Ma, yeah. He hit me to pull up. I mean, we did that shit. Did that shit in like 30, 40 minutes. Wow. Energy was right for sure. He knew. He knew. He knew the vibes. He. He had that. He had to beat ready as soon as I walked in there. Yeah, we just start. You know, what I mean, cooking up. Yeah, man, that shit came out. Came Cause out I, high. cause I feel like features with you are tough unless they know you. You know what I mean? If it, if it's like, I, and obviously that don't happen. Obviously, if a nigga don't really know, him. but if a nigga don't really listen to you and he just hear your sound and he like your shit, he's talking about some other shit. You, you not gonna match that because you not about to make believe. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So it's like. Your shit is separated from a lot of niggas, bro. A lot of niggas will line up and rap with whoever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so I, I, how do you choose how you get on the record, man? Like if somebody approaches you, you about like- Do you, you know think I mean? about it or you like, I'm getting on it? No, I definitely think about it for sure. Me and bro were talking about this shit earlier. You gotta be, I feel like you gotta be selective when you stand for something, bro. Yeah. Like you can't just be doing anything out here. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm very selective with what I do, bro. Just off. I love quality. Mm. You know what I mean, quantity is like you can do shit all. You can rap all day, but like, what's it sounding like? Or mm-hmm. I'm big on shit sounding the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean, so the what, shit with Buddy makes sense. What yeah. makes you want to get on a record with niggas like in, in, um, in particular? I think first who they are, mm. not what they do, but maybe mm. first who they are as a person. The nigga. person before like what they can do for me, nigga. Like, if you like riff, I consider you like it's good energy when I'm around you and shit like that. Then yeah, we could potentially build some shit. Um, that's first, and then obviously if you're nice, nigga, that's even that's like everything else. It's like we just gonna make it come together. Mm. Um, so I think who who a person is first, and then obviously if there's a way we can make some shit mesh or sound good together, then nigga, it's up. Mm. Okay. So, so speaking of that, right? You know who a person is and things of that nature, man. How'd you link up with Avenue, man? With Ooh. words speak life, man. Shout out to Avenue Shout he to in Avenue the building. building. How'd that happen? Shit. I don't even know where to start, bro. <laughs> so I knew Av for a minute, man. Yeah, Av's, I remember um, you was telling me that yeah, when, when we little, first met. Yeah, Av's, Av's, Av's a couple years older than me, but we grew up in the same... We both from the South End. Granted, right. we're both we're from different, I would say, different sections of the South End. Right. But if you're from the South End, you know, like, it's really one big neighborhood. Yeah, right. right. Like, if up up certain... When you're going up certain streets, it's really all... We Everybody hangs out with, with, in different spots and shit like that, so... Right. Me and I weren't technically friends growing up, mm. but we knew each other based right. off just being around and riding bikes and shit. You see somebody, you just dap them up or shit like that. 
playing basketball together, stuff like that. Loma Elementary School. Mm-hmm. Um, went to the Hurley together. That's okay. a little elementary school yeah, in the South yeah. End. I don't know. Neighbor, that neighborhood that. shit. Yeah, yeah. Just neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah. If you yeah. was from the South, then you either went to the Blackstone or Hernandez or the Hurley. Yeah, I don't okay. know nothing about that. I'm lying, right? I don't Those know three? nothing about that. Yeah, but yeah, shout yeah, out that's, to the that, South That's end. the South um, End shit. So yeah, I, have, I was at the Hurley for a bit and then time passed. We didn't go to school together, but you know, just seeing them at courts and yeah, it's yeah. always on some cool shit. Was that nice at ball? Was he good? I was tough, bro. I, ain't gonna lie you. I was tough. I don't know. I heard otherwise. I, I was tough. Oh, I was tough. Oh. I was a point guard. He I looked was like tough. he called fouls a lot. Yeah, <laughs> he looked like, you know what I mean? If you foul, nigga. Yeah, man. Ooh, nah, that was nice, bro. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But, and then we ended up going to the same high school as time passed. Okay, people? Yeah. yeah. His senior year, I was a freshman. Okay. Um, And then just time passed again, bro. And then. Obviously, I always fucked with who he was as an artist and as a person and shit. And then, I mean, he caught wind of what I had going on, and mm-hmm. we just, it just, I feel like Devon Timer, nigga. So, so for y'all, sense. it just made sense. Just yeah, for sure. Together. I That's think fine. it was just Devon Timer, yeah. honestly. Um, what was that record you did with Av earlier this year, man? Um, I can't remember the up. name. We Up. Um, I love that record. We Up. That was a good and one. I love the visual. Shout out to Isaiah Shot It. He shot that visual. Isaiah. Isaiah. Shout out, shout out. Shout out. Um, how how did that record come together? Like when when you get with Av, like creatively, do y'all have a concept already set in place, or was it just like you hear, let's make music? It's like off, it's off the fly, really. Yeah. He's vibing in the stool. You might hear it, throw a beat on. We hear some shit, or he might already have something that he's working on. Right. I just happened to be in the room at the time for that record in particular. Um, pull it to one of his sessions. Cause I ain't no make believe neither. Nah, not yet. I mean, nah. I don't do the you nah. know the theatrics. So he's just catching the, the vibe in the studio. Yeah, that's why I yeah. could yeah. see really how fun. y'all you know even though y'all come from the same neighborhood, that probably you know. I'm pretty sure that plays a factor. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure it's probably some South End shit. Yeah, yeah. But either way, I, I like the combination because it's realness. It's just how it goes, bro. Right. Sure. Works, man. I like that shit. Mm-hmm. But it's never forced. It's like. It's really just off yeah, the energy yeah. of that time that we in right shit there. Just making the forced. most of that shit. You can't force shit. Who, who else That's is just a part rape. of a, Who else is... God damn. What? <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Who, <laughs> who else is a part of the Word Speaks Life camp, man? Shit. It's big... I'll say the big three is I, me, and Nate Speaks. Nate Speaks. Shout out to my sis, Nate Speaks, Shout out man. to Nate Speaks, man. She's oh, yeah. killing shit. She's a beast, bro. Oh, she's shit. How old is Nate Speaks? She's like, right. Nate Speaks is like, 19. She's 18 and 19. 18. She's, she's a, a singer, kid. right? She rap. And she sings. She do the melodic shit. You know what I mean? she, yeah, I thought she was a singer. Nah, she do both. Oh, she's a beast, oh, okay. bro. She's a problem. Shout out to Yeah, she's yeah. she a beast. So, so, so y'all are the big three? I would say so. Yeah. Mm, is, yeah. there, is there like a compilation coming soon or something like that? Oh, shit. Yeah, but there's, always, the there's always talks about us doing shit together and stuff like that. For sure. But when it we gonna when, when the time is right, that shit's gonna come about beautifully. Yeah. I already know. Mm-hmm. We'll get like Frank the Butcher on some shit. Shit, you never oh, know. Man. Man. Never know. You know what I mean? Never know. I would love to see that. That should be dope. That should be dope. I can imagine, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what did you want to talk about today, man? Because you know, we, we we wanted to talk about the Kanye shit, but was there anything in particular that you wanted to bring oh, yeah. up? Shit. I, about that. I mean, this Glory in the Fire, Volume 1, out now. Glory in, in the, the Fire, fire. Man, Volume 1. What does that mean, first off? Shit. The title means, like, it has several meanings, bro. It's like a double, triple, quadruple entendre. What's shit. it mean to you? Shit, what it means to me is, like, this glory and, you know, going through what you got to go through, nigga. It's one thing to complain about things, but it's, a, it's some whole other shit to, like, really just embrace what's going on and yeah. make some of it. So not running ru- not running from things you're afraid of, not running from being who you're supposed to be, shit like that. Mm. Just staying down, staying true. Um, and this glory and restructuring something, because I feel like the energy I'm bringing is kind of really changing. Just the outlook of where we from and mm. subtly, mm. whether niggas want to, you know what I mean, acknowledge it or not, like, I can sense the difference since... I mean, I've been putting my best foot forward out here. And um, I think it's important for me to continue that Mm. because it's inspiring other people to, I mean, my bros tell me this shit, like it's inspiring other people to be better. Mm -hmm. And that's just only going to make me go even harder, you know what I'm saying? So that's really what it's about, bro. 
finding glory in the things you go through and shit like that like not mm -hmm. being afraid of it and don't be afraid to like it's one thing to be humble but you there's a fine line with when you got to be assertive with shit too mm -hmm. like learning when to speak up and say what the fuck you got to say not being afraid of it mm -hmm. i like that but that kanye shit, well, I want, that's that shit, shit that's goes with what you just said too it goes with a long long because you know i it took me going back to hearing a lot of clips to really listen to it's his delivery yeah if you get past his delivery now let's not put it all on delivery because when somebody says something that's completely out of pocket we gotta acknowledge that like that george floyd shit all right look yes right knee was on the neck that shit was mad crazy for him to disagree with that we all seen that we all watched the video the nigga said something about george floyd singing a song or some shit for eight minutes yeah that shit is also fucking with his meds what you call that episode what's that episode called when the niggas yeah yeah a manic episode. a manic episode there you go so like that's what was happening so but like past that right if if the test come back or whatever the facts are that he had the boy had the shit in his system yeah. then that's just gonna be cold it's gonna be fucked up because it's like he said it and like everybody's gonna be oh kanye said it you know what i mean but, but then, people been saying it people like candace owens been saying that shit they've been staring that narrative and candace owens like i've always said before, she's not kanye west i've had a love and hate relationship is she a billionaire She's a black conservative. Did you hear how Kanye Island. West was talking to these niggas on Fox News? That nigga's fucking hilarious. I don't like listening to people like, who don't make more money than me. He, he was like, yo, do you are you a billionaire? Are you richer than me? No, Kanye, I wish I was. He was like, then why should I listen to you? <laughs> oh, bro, this is really some Batman shit. This is really like some like this is some cartoon right. nigga, nah, that, yo. Is, more to that point, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like it shit. I feel like there's just something bigger going on. He got an album a, coming. Not nah. even just with Kanye. <laughs> not even with the nigga personally, bro. I'm talking okay. like in the world in general. Like, mm. like there's a. I feel like there's a reason why a nigga like him is able to say the things he's saying is because it's there's some real truth behind some of the shit he's oh, saying. Oh yeah, absolutely. you know what I'm saying. If you know, you know. Absolutely. There's some real That's truth why they got behind Donald some of that Trump shit. I don't want to sound anti-Semitic. I mean, but I tell you like this: when the nigga said, "Name one Jewish dude." Who signed to a black, black guy, guy? Right. Ooh, he killed that. And he was like, now name one black guy who signed to a Jewish guy. Ultimately, yeah. it could be through different channels. It mm -hmm. could be multiple levels, right? Mm -hmm. Now, he wasn't lying, right? Now, when he went and said he wanted to go DEFCON 3 on Jews, how'd you feel about that? Man, that's <laughs> see, it's, that's when it's like that's what makes it difficult for the message to get across. Right. When you when you just add that extra Something like that. That's to the, extra sauce. That's what makes it hard for someone to accept. He like, didn't need that sauce on the pasta, my nigga. Yo, yeah. you think Nori... I think he needed someone that, that someone there to like mediate that shit. You bro. mad at Nori for like not checking world. him? Nori's no. slow, bro. No, no. I wouldn't Nori expect Nori to check him. Nori, Nori, Nori I wouldn't was expect on the short bus, bro. Y'all know it's uh, just Nori and the bus driver. Look, yeah. like, he's just going to be a two, <laughs> a <bus laughs> just a two man ride. <laughs> like, <laughs> to school, nigga. Uh, that's it. No, you want to leave through the emergency exit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, y'all up. <laughs> <laughs> cool now, on, I mean, bro. do you think Nori should have deleted the episode? Mm. I mean, shit. I mean, probably he knew. I, I knew it was going to get recorded. Was above so, them, so People going to be, be able to watch that shit anyway. But yeah. you should have just kept it up. Yeah, like, once the internet you knew what you were getting into. He knows right. what he was doing. Yeah. Well. Right. You know what you, you got to know right. what to, what the outcome is out of that shit. Revolt said right. they're removing it from Revolt. That. It revolt. Is puffy. It, yeah, yeah. It, it's bigger. You know, it's bigger than puffy. Nah. You know, I mean, it gotta yes, be. It yes gotta be. No. Yeah. Yes and no. So what I think is he. Ain't, I, I feel like Puff didn't like the way Kanye spoke about him. Either. Oh yeah, that you too. I mean? That he too. Should. Yeah, didn't he call he him? He did up. say some shit, but he's a fed. He called Puff a yeah, fed. He called Puff a fed. He called Meek a fed, yeah, right? Um, I feel like them niggas is like, oh, we feds now? All right, bad, Yo, them nigga. pills is hitting, it's bro. It's over. Them pills is hitting, Kanye. It's over. Yeah, nigga, Nori's so dumb. This nigga Kanye fake drinking. He's like, yo, nah, yo. You ain't gonna fake drink. You gonna really <laughs> drink with your meds, nigga. Let's go, nigga. Like, yeah. But what do you think? Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Nori. <laughs> 
But what do you think the real message was? No <laughs> reason. I love drink chance no. though. I fucking love drink chance. And it's all because of Dory, bro. <laughs> like, nah, I mean, what do you think Kanye's real message was? Oh, oh shit, oh. man. I don't <laughs> he, I think there's so much it's there was so much bulked up into what he was saying, my nigga. So it's hard to say, bro. But he really just want niggas to wake the fuck up. Jews run like. the world. At the end of the day, he just want niggas to think differently, bro, and just Chinese Look at the world niggas, different. Chinese niggas got something hard. to do with this? <laughs> he's making it hard for niggas, bro. He's you making think... it hard for niggas. <laughs> yeah, cool. Do you that think... shit was three hours of pure comedy. <laughs> it really was. It really uh, was. Because I, I watched that shit. I watched half of it. I didn't watch it. Y'all gonna listen to his music? Whole thing. How do you feel? Like, yeah, that's not gonna... Nothing changes about our perception about his music, though, I love right? his old music still to this day. I'm not you don't really like this new shit? Even his new some shit. Some of it. I like some of the songs, but I just mm. like the old shit better. I like Donda. I, like, I didn't really like Donda 2. Yeah. I didn't get Donda to Donda 2 was a lot. I don't got a stem player. Donda 2 was, was all right. Um, you know, I, I I do like Kanye. I mean, as a creative. Me too. But did y'all hear what Joe Budden said about the nigga? No. He said, that's how he gets y'all niggas with them shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas, he said, he said, the nigga dropped the styrofoam flip flops so y'all niggas could all make y'all first day out freestyles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's Joe, insane. <laughs> Joe Funny <Puddy> goes crazy, <laughs> yo. I <laughs> uh, see mad first day freestyles <laughs> in them shits, right? Say on dogs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then them shits got replicated, so like you could like get shits that look just like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just it's funny. It's just fucked up. All right, well, enough about Kanye. I think yeah. Kanye need help, and I also Definitely. think, but but I also think he means help. No, oh, yeah, like he means well, like with what no, yeah. he does, like yeah. his delivery, like you were saying, is crazy. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean, like that whole white lives matter thing. Like I think that was just to steer people up to be it's to trigger people and shit. To, you right, think black right. people? had a choice on slavery <laughs> like the first the very first like slaves that you was there that, like bro. that's like no you can't say that right you, they, they had no choice okay they didn't have no choice about getting here <laughs> but why why lay down for so long <laughs> Come niggas, man. that's when that's when i think about it like maybe he might be on some right because it's like you think about the first black Think yeah. about the first black nation. Just, that's just Haiti, Haiti bro. That's right? Haiti. Haiti. Yeah. Africa, hunting you alive, think about Haiti, the lion. The white man. The revolution of Haiti yeah. was a whole bunch of slaves revolting. My great grandfather was Haitian. You see? Yo, I, my nigga. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Mm-hmm. I mean, real nigga, right? <laughs> that dog. But what was, what was the Haitian revolution? It was a whole yeah. bunch of slaves picking up guns and organizing, right? Yeah. We you couldn't tell organ. these niggas. You couldn't tell Jean Pierre shit. He had the musket, nigga. So we slaves again. So that I think like that's what he be trying to conjure up in people's minds. It's it's metaphorically taking the power back. Type yeah, shit. it's metaphorically, but like he, he be on some shit. Doing, when you bro. just come out and say slavery was a choice, <laughs> that sounds crazy. But we loved him when he said, "Yo, George Bush does not care about black people." We was like, "Yeah, yeah. nigga." We was like, "Hell yeah, yeah. Kanye." We was like, Dugs. "Fuck yeah, we love that shit." Nice. And then when he did the shit on the stage with the girl, we was like, "All right, Kanye." We like, all right, all right, yeah. Y'all, y'all say they have the Hennessey best video. And Amber Rose, he had a K-Verdian. He was yeah, with a K-Verdian. Yeah, that's so. right. That's right. That's you blame right. K-Verdians right. for everything. Anytime they're in the room, yeah, yeah, they they yeah. definitely have fault. Yeah. It's just you just proceed with yeah, that. Yeah, blame K-Verdians yeah, yeah, yeah. for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> what was the That's it? I don't remember where I'm done with Kanye, man. Yeah, I'm done with Kanye. Yeah. Um, I really want to talk more about the project, um, The Glory in the Fire, Volume 1. What's next? Do you Nah, first off, before we talk about what's next, do you have a favorite record on this project? I like the intro a lot. Mm-hmm. Angels in the Outfield. Yeah, yeah, Angels in the Outfield. It's one of my favorite movies, yeah. no bullshit. Word, me too. Kevin Bad Costner? Dog. The movie's Kevin fire. Costner. Who is it? It's Mel, no, is Mel Gibson? No, no, what am I saying? Uh, Danny Glover. Danny the lo- the little sure. white boy. Angels in the outfield. The baseball yeah, shit? Yeah. The Anaheim Angels. Who's the nigga? The, it was a little, the, the, little the little white boy. He's he's the new Robin and the new Batman. Fucking little white boy. He was man. the uh what was he was name, a, bro. 
He wasn't he Glory Days? Like whatever. What, what, what show was he on? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Little white boy. Little white boy. Uh, yeah. But like, with Danny Glover, man, that was a good movie, man. Oh yeah. But I um, like the intro a lot, bro. Just yeah, I think that's it. Just sets the tone for the tape for sure. City of Champs, I like that record. I love that record too. Um, and I like moving on up too, man. Yeah, I like that. It was an interlude, but it was yeah, good. Yeah. It, it felt good. Yeah. I liked it a lot, man. Got um, a video for that coming soon. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think those are my three right now for sure. I like the outro a lot too. Um, outro was good. Yeah. You, you performed any of these? You did any? I performed a few of these um, this past weekend in Lowell. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, right. shout out to my bro Sound Buffet. He set up some shit for me to, you know, me get my shit off at. It was a right. bar in Lowell. Um, that was like one of your first joints, first performance? It's probably like my, honestly, like my, maybe my fourth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like you get, so you're getting out there. Yeah, bro, just sh- trying to show face more. Oh, you know I mean? I'll be seeing you everywhere on Dogs, yeah. I feel like. Anytime there's like a hip yeah, hop something, yeah. he's like, you nigga, be there. I, he right clear. Be there. Is there a background check? He like, yeah, oh, I'll do it. Seen you at the Who need a background check, nigga? I'm good. Seen you at the testing lab. I, I mean, like pulled that up shit. a couple times. Not for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I got um, to perform there too at the third one. That yeah, was dope. But what is next, man? What's next for Funeral and Bell, man? Shit, man. I'm always we locked in weekly, bro. So I got a lot of shit in the works, man. Um, just got that name. I'm, I'm gonna have that certificate next month in mm. terms of for my name being copywritten. So you can expect some like. I got a lot of ideas for some merch. Okay. Just ideas for projects. Volume two ain't gonna come right out after this one. I got a couple joints to, to put out in between, but I got some shit for you, Cash, for All sure, right. bro. Like see, you talking about see, that. Niggas be hearing so me. You're vibe calling me a hater. You gonna, we gonna fuck you with this, some shit fuck. I got in the tub. You man. a hater. You know you a bigger hater. I'm a hater. I got we some talk shit about you. how you a bigger hater. You work on nigga, being nigga, a hater. You, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you, you, you said that the nigga gave you Griselda. No, no, he's no. I said that Griselda raps on a lot of the same beats, and that's okay to you. You said he raps on a lot of the same type of beats. And it wasn't okay to you. What's the problem? That's why I ain't get a five. Crickets, bro. nigga. I don't know. It's a different sound. Whatever. It's, a different, it's not the same, neither. Whatever, man. It's, it's not funny the same. Shit. It's nigga, not the same. Ass. The beats, the beats I like more. The beats I like more. The beats I like more. That's why the producer mad at me. That's why he said I'm the producer. <laughs> I get it. Now, but yeah, we made honestly though in terms of like the production and shit. We that that project was made like from scratch, bro. Literally, me and Bro in the stool. Mm. Every beat is that shit was tailor made for what the fuck we wanted to deliver, bro. And Suits for you. That's nigga. why it's so cohesive and shit. And I wanted bro. it. I really wanted this project to have no features and to be structured this way because I'm still new in this shit, bro. Yeah. And I gotta. I want to make the best with what what, what, what I got. Right, right now, before I take that next step and start doing shit with other producers, like this is what you're gonna get when we, when me and with the, the that foundation, yeah. this is what you're gonna get when we, when we pull it right. up. You know I mean, I'm adjusting, but, I'm adjusting, my nigga. No, no, just in general, bro. I ain't, I just you saying that just, you just coming you, at bro. me, nah, that's fine. Nah, I can no, take bro, it. Nah, yeah, fine. fuck cash. Yeah, yeah nah, nah, <laughs> nah, but just, we wanted it to be like this, bro. To sound this way, like you said, it sounds like one track. I kind of felt like that too, bro. But I in a good mean, way, that, was that is me. a good thing. Yeah. Chanel, the bad can't as, speak, as but Chanel would have been here. Yeah, I listen. I, I, yeah, <laughs> just the way it transitions yeah, and shit. A there's like, a lot, there's see, a lot he of understand. There's a lot of one yeah. track albums that I like. Yeah. Like literally, I don't know if you if you you're too young to remember that. There's literally artists who would just put out one like tape. Nothing was named. Like it would literally be start to finish. Oh, that's fine. You play it all. Yeah. And yeah, there were different tracks, but it just literally blended in together. And I love that. I think you know it's the I mean? best. And I feel like bro. that's how I felt when I was listening I to it. I didn't skip no songs. You know I mean, there's glory in the uh, fire. I, I love what you said, Cash. It's, I ain't take that I, shit. It's, don't, it's don't. better for me that way, yeah. that I don't have to skip no songs. How'd you feel about the rating? We gave you a 4.5. No, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't mad, bro. I, I respected it. I respected it. <laughs> I ain't mad at y'all niggas, man. Nah, nah, dogs. I wasn't, bro. I actually, I was dogs. You know what I mean? Nah, They said they loved it and shit. I don't get it. <laughs> that shit was definitely a five, right? Nah, I think it was, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, nah, but it, nah, but it's all good, bro. Like even niggas, we gave two point seven. They thought they shit was five. We ain't a five. never gave nobody no two point seven. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, that's foul. Nah, but I also I took what y'all said. Like you know what I mean? I definitely which like I like what you said too, Chiz. Like you was um. 
like there's room for growth. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's the beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. This shit sound the way it do, and it's still room for growth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, sky's the limit, bro. And I didn't even know in. where you was coming from, honestly, until like, like a week ago when I heard the 2020 joints, yeah. and then I seen the build. And I'm like, this is gonna get crazy. Yeah. So I'm excited, bro, for the future. I Choose what the future brings, my nigga. When you hear that, what you think of that? <sighs> nigga, you better. It's all about nigga how you how you move is important, bro. That shit's gonna determine everything. Who you mm. around? Mm. Who you keep around, mm. putting yourself right place, right time, mm -hmm. knowing when to leave, knowing when to pull up, that type of shit. You gotta like that. be cautious of all your steps, nigga. Really, because that's just gonna choose you if you don't choose it. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Hey, 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 hey. What's coming, nigga? Bro, just staying right. true, stay down, nigga. That's it. All right, but we, we, we about to get some balls, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Unless no. you got something else you want to say before we get into these balls. Nah, man, I'm I'm good, bro. We talking oh, about yeah, a lot. Let's go. I appreciate y'all niggas having. Oh yeah, I'm ready man. To rap. Appreciate you pulling up, my nigga. Uh -huh. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Yeah. Um, man. you know this was CWTFB Radio. I am Charlie Machine. This is Cash. No motherfucking mute. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying this thing will never <laughs> stop talking. Ah, uh, <laughs> we are CWTFB <laughs> Radio. I was ready. That was stupid. Choose what the future brings, man. Black culture oh, through music. Up. We Black, have a man funeral. Aunt Bell in the building, man. Funeral. This shit was crazy. Yes, sir. We love y'all, man. Till next time, it's Red Cups and Rap Time, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Sir, let's get it. Let's get it.